Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be making an accordion style mini album and what's really nice about them is you can make them any size you want and with as many pages as you want and it's just really easy to do. You can even make a cute little brag book to go in your purse. So let's head on over and let me show you how easy this is. For the mini album I'm making today, I use this 12 by 12 cardstock from Michaels. But if you don't have 12 by 12 cardstock or you want to make a smaller mini album, you can use 8.5 by 11 inch cardstock to do this with. But the one I'm doing today is going to be 6 by 6, so I needed to use this size. So what I've done is I've taken four sheets of that 12 by 12 cardstock and I cut it in half. So now my pieces are six inches by 12 inches, and then I scored them in the middle at six inches so that when I fold it in half, it is six by six. And if you don't have a scoreboard and you're doing this, you can just fold it in half. And so I'm gonna fold all of these in half, and then we're gonna continue. Okay, I've got them all folded and I have eight of these. And you can make as many or as few as you want. It just depends on the size album you want to make. So let's get started putting this together. I'm going to grab two pieces and we're going to have one open this way and one open this way. So they're going to go together like that. Let me push this out of the way so it doesn't get in the way there. Okay, so Let's do this. I'm going to use my Beacon 3-in-1 because I like having the room to slide these together. And so I'm just going to put the glue around the edges here. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to put a little across the middle. So there we go. We've got, got some glue on there. Now we're going to take this one. This one with the fold up. This one, the fold down. So as you can see that. And we are going to lay this one right on top of that and make sure that you have this folded so that you know it's going to fold when it's all put together. Okay, and just fold it over and there we go, we have the beginning. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn this one over. We're gonna grab another one of these and open it up. And so with the, the mountain fold side facing up, and this one facing down, so it's like a valley fold. We're gonna do the same thing again. And we are going to just add the glue around the edges. Now you could also turn these into pockets if you want, instead of gluing it shut. That is always an option, always a fun option. But I'm not gonna be doing that for this tutorial. So here we go, I'm gonna bring that right in like that. Make sure that everything folds over and lines up, just like that. And there we go. Okay, now let's get a look at what it's looking like. See, look at it's getting bigger. And we're just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over again until all of these are hooked together. And I think I was going to maybe speed this up for you, but I think what I'm going to do is just finish putting this together because I think it's been pretty self-explanatory here. And I'm just going to do this all the way until the end. And then when I have it all together, I will come back and show you something else. Okay, I have it all put together. It closes up nicely. and. Now you have other options. So I'm gonna set this right here and grab, hold on a second here, got a couple of pieces of um, cardboard from food boxes. And if you want it, you can cover these so that, you know, that doesn't show. And then you could actually use these for the cover and attach the first page to the inside of that one and the last page to the inside of that one and you can have a nice sturdy cover. And that is really an awesome way to go. But today I'm gonna to show you another way, just in case you don't have that cardboard or in case covering that is a little bit difficult for you. I'm gonna show you another easy way because I really think, you know, I'd like the, the cover to be better than this flimsy. <laughs> Not that saying that it's flimsy, but for a cover, it's flimsy. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually 
going to glue this to the first page. And it's actually going to make a nice thick cover for it. And I'll just show you here in a minute. Let me just get this on here. And we're going to do the same thing to the back. So I'm just going to flip this over and close that down. And what we're going to end up with is a cover that is three pieces of cardstock thick. So three layers thick. I'm going to open it right up here. And here's our cover. So we have the back of it, the front of it, and the other one that is you know, glued in there when we were gluing them all together. So now the cover is much sturdier. And then on top of that, you're going to be decorating it and adding some papers to it. And we're going to do the same thing to the very back one as well. So just wanted you to see that there is a way to do this without using cardboard or chipboard. Um, even though that would probably be my preference, I do like having this easier option. And so there you go. And now what I need to do is go decorate it. And you'll have to decide on what kind of closure you want on this. And if you're going to be using a ribbon, I suggest that you put the ribbon attached with um, double-sided tape or something across the back before you add your back layer of papers or whatever you're adding and make sure you have enough ribbon so that when it comes around the front, you can tie it. Okay, I not only got the mini album finished, but I also made a card because this is going to be an anniversary gift to my son and his wife. And before I show you everything, because I want it to be seamless when I show you, I'm going to tell you everything that I used ahead of time because I know a lot of you like to know where I used, where I got it from, and I will have links below in the description box. So to start off with, all of the pattern papers you're going to see came from this External Love paper pack, and this is from a company online called Queena Craft, and I love this paper. It is so gorgeous and, well, it's so me because if you know me, I love pink, I love Paris, I love butterflies, and you're going to see that throughout and that is also the theme of that paper. And also, all of this glitter paper that you see here, all of that came from Close to My Heart and that is their glitter paper and I will put a link below because my friend Jeannie Ellis sells Close to My Heart. And let's see what else. All of the tags that you're going to see came from this stitched tag die set, which is also from Queen of Craft. And I just love this. I mean, there's every size you can need in there. I just love it. And let's see, what else can I show you? Um, all of the foiling that you're going to see throughout here is done with, I know the light's reflecting on this, it's deco foil. And it is the rose gold color, which I absolutely love. And all of the techniques that I used for the foiling did not involve any machine. No laser printer, no laminator, no iron, no nothing. And I will put links below in the description box to my videos that show those techniques. And I might even add them to the end screen of this video. So let's see, what else did I use? Just hold on a second here. Um, well, let's see, this little banner came from this die set, which I'll be using the rest of this in another video, but this is also from Queen of Craft. Um, you'll see these threads um, tied to some tags in there. I really love this. Also from Queen of Craft. I actually planned this whole mini album out, so everything that I got from there was planned for doing this including these really cool little, they're not really rhinestones. I don't know what to call them. They're really domed and rounded. Um, they're beautiful. I ended up only using one and I actually had planned on using more. And I used this foam tape from Gina K Designs. It's black and most foam tapes are white. This is black, which came in really perfect to put beyond, behind this banner so that it wouldn't stand out, you know, with everything else being darker. Okay, I think, I think I have covered everything that is in here, and now let's get started. So, first of all, I'll show you the card, 
and this is an interlocking gatefold card and I will also include a link to that below in the description box because I have a video on doing this and it's really easy and so there we go oh stamp set is I think from close to my heart I don't remember I know this front one is um, and I guess that's another thing I didn't say is all of the dies that I use for the butterflies for the um, Eiffel Tower and stuff and even the punches that I used I do not have names for them and I cannot link to them I've had them for so long and I just have them stored without their packaging I'm really sorry but anyway so there is the beautiful anniversary card and now let's start with the album so this is the cover and I love all of the sparkle it is just beautiful and I love the whole like I said I love the whole Paris theme so it's beautiful we're gonna open this up and these are the first pages and I have foiled the edges of these strips of of the paper and then the butterflies were also foiled and the white areas that you see those are where the photographs will go so you don't have to do it this way but this is the way I chose to do it so they're kind of built-in mats for the photos and let's turn to the next page and again now this one is more of a simple page not overly decorated but again those are the mats for the photos we'll turn it again and on this one I created a little tuck space right here it actually goes all the way through where um, I have a tag sitting there right now but photos can be tucked in there memorabilia I just love this it's so gorgeous look at this beautiful beautiful paper I mean and a little Eiffel Tower in the corner but isn't this just gorgeous oh I love it love it so much and then over here another one and again I foiled the edges and on all of this actually and we're going to turn the page again and we are now to the back cover now this turned out to be smaller than I planned because originally I was going to make a cover out of this <laughs> like I showed earlier and instead I decided to show you the easy way and glued it together which actually gave me less pages than I planned but it's okay so anyways this is the back I've got a doily and a couple of tags right here on the back and we're just going to keep going so we're going to open it up again this way and more pages for pictures more foiling and more pages I actually really like this look a lot you may not you know like I said you may want to cover the whole page and do something different but I really kind of liked this clean look and then we're going to get to this page where I created a pocket and here's some more tags and again this is a die cut don't know what the die is from and same thing with the Eiffel Tower but I had to add those on there We've got some ribbon and some lace trim right there. I think it's just beautiful and it all just matches perfectly. And these are some of those, um, uh, the threads, or I think they were called threads, but little pieces of stuff that I that I got from, from in here. And they're perfect for the tags. And there's the last page and we are back to the cover. And I just think it's really cool how you can just flip through this like this flip it and you just keep flipping so it's kind of one of my favorite things about this or you can just open it up like this and you know look at it that way which I know it's hard to do when the camera's not going that way there we go so you can just kind of set it up like that but there you go that is my accordion mini album and my interlocking gatefold anniversary card Thank you all for watching and as always I hope this has inspired you and given you some ideas of your own and if you're interested in any of the products that I use today I'm going to have them linked below in the description box so just click where it says show more it'll drop down and you can find everything including a link to Crafters Castle Challenge where you can enter your creations. Happy crafting everyone! Bye bye!